They went from making their own mining software, you know, for GPU miners and CPU miners, and then branching out into supporting ASIC miners, you know, those purpose-built machines. I'm gonna say it again, application-specific integrated circuit miners, those things, all they do is mine crypto. Yeah, so Kudo Miner, and you may have watched, hopefully, one of my favorite videos that we've ever produced. It was an hour-long CPU miner tutorial and GPU miner tutorial, as well as a full-blown mining rig build. But in that video, we use and review Kudo Miner. And guess what? They've branched off, and I was interested the whole time to see if they could really pull it off, but they've now released the Kudos token. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. They really went from making mining software, a mining OS, to launching their own token, but why? What does it do? Why do we care? And why could it actually be really important and profitable for crypto miners? Let's check it out. But first, you know we're checking 10 Seconds Tales. Our resident, Sheep, Doge, Dogecoin, and just the apple of my eye or whatever they say that sounds like that. Let's, let's do it. It's, it's time. If you've ever wanted to mine Bitcoin, then you should head to minewithcompass.com and learn how they're making it possible for everyone to mine Bitcoin now. They sell Bitcoin miners, they will connect you with facilities, co-location, which enables you to host your Bitcoin miners with some of the best Bitcoin mining farms in the world. Click the link below to learn how you can start mining with Compass today. First off, I wanna make a quick note. There's spammers and scammers and impersonators everywhere on social media posing as Voscoin. I'm not DMing you on Instagram. I'm not emailing you from a Gmail account. We're not talking on WhatsApp. Those are all scammers. You'll notice a bunch of new fake accounts generated just even here on YouTube replying down in the comments. So please leave a real comment. Help us fight the scammers. Let's just, we, we gotta fight the good fight. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. What we talked about before was Kudo Miner. And Kudo Miner is something we already reviewed and I actually walked everybody through using. But they moved away from focusing on the little guy and they went to target mining farms because basically they have a lot more miners, they're more profitable, and they're looking to make money because they're a business and they're very business focused. But I will say one more time, I really hope you guys check out the video. I poured all the knowledge I had into that video and it's still my number one recommended video guide for learning how to set up a CPU and GPU mining rig. It's all still pretty much the same. Just swap a 20 series card with a 30 series card. At the time of recording this video for the Kudos token, $1,000 will get you about 37,000 tokens. But what is the Kudos token anyway? The decentralized cloud computing network for everyone. Kudos is bridging the gap, or they hope to be, between cloud and blockchain by using the world's available computing to power a more decentralized, sustainable, and connected world. It's an ERC-20 token, which means you can buy and sell it on Uniswap. It's also tradable on Qcoin, which is available for US citizens, but obviously Uniswap has no KYC, which means they don't discriminate and kick you out if you're you know, a little bit of a patriot or something. So, but you know, what's the deal here? What's the value proposition? Uh, basically, they want to make money from your idle hardware and they want to offer people cloud services at a cheaper price and you get paid a piece in the process potentially, right? That's the real deal. That's what's going on here. So it's founded by a serial tech entrepreneur. Kudos highly experienced team of entrepreneurs, engineers, data scientists, and strategists are joined by world-class advisors, including ex-president of Sony PlayStation, Chris Dare and the director of blockchain, AMD. They have a simple mission statement, make better use of the world's computing powers, smart contracts and dApps, scalable decentralized blockchain compute, really hard, difficult way to just say bridges, scale out layer two compute or layer two solutions here for blockchain, scale out decentralized cloud. They were looking to create lower cost and faster transactions, NFTs and assets, because who doesn't put that on their roadmap here in 2021? And oracles, connect to oracles for data services on off chain, deploy your own data services to the Kudos network and all the bridged blockchains. But what are they gonna do? Layer two oracles. DeFi, that's decentralized finance, baby. You know we got a video guide on what that is. Scientific research, data analytics, AI, artificial intelligence, and video rendering. Now that's important. 
But here's the crazy part is the Kudos network is powered by proof of stake and validators, you know, staking nodes and stuff like that, which, you know, it's grim. You know, let's, let's take a quick note on this because it needs to be talked about right and obviously i love crypto mining so it got me into cryptocurrency i've said it a hundred times it's an incredible way to earn passive income with crypto it's an incredible way to just build up your bags of cryptocurrency decentralize these networks right these blockchains so if i'm running a miner you're running a miner they're running a miner over there we're decentralizing it it's so cool and incredible and what a unique way just empowering right way to decentralize a network make it resilient and strong and crowdsource it. you know reward people mint some of those coins and distribute your coins throughout but every day we see new tokens launch we see new proof of stake coins launched honestly it's been looking pretty grim for mineable coins for quite a while now all the biggest and best and everything they, they don't launch mineable coins when was the last time you heard about a new mineable coin launching with a bunch of hype you just don't they launch proof of stake networks and blockchains or they just simply launch a token maybe it is on ethereum just because it's such a big network but ethereum is absolutely focused on moving to proof of stake with ethereum 2.0 and ditching proof of work also known as mining and with all the negative media spin related to bitcoin mining they're going to start pushing to move bitcoin away from mining they'll say it's for scalability you know that's there's always a spin or whatever but if you just start changing things it's no longer really what it is and there's a difference between growing and evolving and just simply changing too much change is not a good thing that's the climate but maybe i'm getting a little ranty i don't know i just think it's interesting um the writing on the wall is that it's it's bad it's bad news it's bad news for proof of work in mining but that also is going to create a big void for where does all this compute power go and if kudos can capture that it's a billion dollar project but that's quite a lofty goal as a full disclaimer and true transparency i want to thank kudos for making today's video possible and they did pay me in their kudos token if you're into proof of stake and staking you can become a kudos validator which sounds a lot like helium validators which we're going to be talking about probably in about the next week or so but you can buy or run an approved kudos validator server you stake 2 million kudos and you stake for compute workloads you earn high staking rewards and passive income from blockchain and compute jobs so that's interesting absolutely interesting and you can be part of their decentralized governance with their kudos tokens you can vote on proposals earn with the staking obviously there's going to be a wallet multi-chain right now supporting ethereum polka dot and many more in the future and you'll be able to de develop your own dApps, decentralized applications integrate smart contracts on the decentralized kudos web 3 network it's starting to sound a little bit like gitcoin talking all this web 3 craziness that open source web we take the status fact there's over 1 trillion spent annually on IT, information technology, hardware, yet up to 50% of the time this infrastructure is sat there either idle or turned off. Hardware owners are winning. You can earn with your hardware. Consumers are winning. They'll be able to pass these savings along. The environment wins, something everybody wants to say right now, and they'll find a way to say it. Do you want to become a validator? Just go ahead and submit your application here. I know a lot of people have been absolutely exhausted with anon teams, anonymous team members, basically coins with no face attached to it, right? No accountability. Well, that's not the case here. You can go to kudos.org slash team and you can quite literally meet the team. You can run through the people here on their team and you can review their LinkedIn's and you can basically see there's a lot of people involved and you can check out their pedigree and everything involved. Taking a quick glance at their one pager, which this is ridiculous to call this a one pager in my book. That's more, it's a very big page, but we'll just say, okay. Okay. So what's the value proposition here? A little bit different, you know, proposal here. So the global compute network powering smart contracts define the internet. So basically they're looking to power quite literally everything that matters here in this era uh, for sellers, kudos. And I still always think of the kudos candy bar, which actually I'm kind of happy that those are just not really popular anymore because I never really thought they were that good, but they were often something I could find in the pantry, especially at my grandparents. And I'd always be snacking on them, but I, I didn't really like them. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> so kudo offers. 
anyone. The monetization of their hardware is idle time, with a special emphasis on data centers and mining farms, increasing their ROI or their return on investment. But what's good for buyers? Kudo offers secure off-chain compute integrations for blockchains and cost-effective cloud services for the general public. Yep. Okay. Let's look at those tokenomics, because they slapped it in the one pager. So there's a big old whopping supply of the Kudos token. And how do these tokens play out? So 20% goes to marketing, 13% goes to user acquisition, 10% goes to community engagement. So very quickly, we've got 30, 43% towards marketing, 7% towards the vague contingency, 10% to node validators, 10% to administration and operations, and 30% to research and development. But, 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 but wait, there's more. Okay, so ecosystem and community development, 34% reserve, 34% team, 20% advisors, 5% private sale, 2%, public listing, 1.67%, 3% to strategic advisors because they needed a different category than advisors. This is a very corporatized token, but maybe that's what you need to achieve something like this. Let's check out the Kudos roadmap and see where they're you know, looking to go. So quarter one, they launched token listings, exchange staking, algo integration, and Kudo applications to a quarter million users signed up to Kudo, 50,000 active nodes in 145 countries. First, 30 validators signed up on the Kudo's network. Quarter two, private test net, Cognitium, Cognitum, I said that wrong, 250,000 users, Kudo's first test net validators, carbon neutral blockchain. Blockchain and Validator Explorer, wallet integrations, and NFT support. That's a non-fungible token, my friend. Looking at quarter three, on-chain staking. Kudos incentivized public testnet. That's really cool, and that's a critical note here. Get paid to play, get paid to test. I like that. Kudos payouts to all Kudo and Kudo Miner users. Ethereum Bridge and Cosmos IBC Bridge. Touring complete smart contract initially with Rust support, community governance propo proposal in true DeFi uh, spirit, hardware encryption support, testnet for compute workloads, Kudos grants program, launch first Kudos hackathon, and the Kudos mainnet v1 with BFT consensus, Igony. In quarter four, they're looking to move away from being an ERC20 token to their own native token. Kudos Mainnet V2, Scalable Compute, Algorand Bridge, Polkadot Bridge, V1 Data Oracle, V1 Compute Oracle, and launch the second Kudos Hackathon. So, you know, it's this is pretty interesting stuff. Um, it's I'm absolutely intrigued to hear about a company, right, that set out and created their own mining software. And from there, they went from CPUs and GPUs and sort of a smaller scale focus to realizing that the money is in the mining farms and in the true industrialization of cryptocurrency and Bitcoin mining and Ethereum mining for better and worse. And from there, now they've branched out to launch their own token. And they're building not just like a hash power marketplace, like for example, a la NiceHash, but they're looking to offer these cloud compute services. So instead of just hashing away, they could provide opportunities to earn passive income with your hardware in new, different, and exciting ways. There's been some other projects that have set out to achieve this goal to a certain degree, but none of them have done it in any successful manner. This is a massive goal. This, if achieved, is gonna be worth billions of dollars. But most people and businesses don't set out and actually achieve what they want to. I'm not saying they will or I'm not saying they won't. It's simply ambitious, but I like ambition. And I like you, if you're ambitious enough to slap that subscribe button, join me on this crazy crypto journey, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let me know your thought about kudos. I'll drop a link so you guys can learn more about it yourself if you wanna do so. So as always, I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next video.